back to Let's Play Ignorant. She's seeming horrible. She, my head is fright. Let's go away. <laughs> After our intro like that, my head is generally fried. And let's find a word. Why is it really not in here? Oh wait, no. Ah, I see why. Okay. Well, I would go with that, but uh, that's that's quite a mouthful. Never mind. Let's find a random word. How about? Um, <laughs> why not? Tana shelf. Let's see if we can finish up Higurashi chapter arc thing today. Just like anxiety and all that stress just kind of feel a bit overwhelmed at the moment so if I don't end up completing the rest of this in this record session I think I'll just take a break cuz like uh, I don't really take breaks often do I really just like just feel uh, oh, yeah, uh, mix of all kinds of emotions overwhelming but anyways the plot. It was Rena, maybe. Was she? Ha! Ooh. I tried to go back inside the teacher's office, but Chia Sensei gestured at me not come in. Chia Sensei acknowledged it, but what Rena was saying several times, and then she looked up at the clock. Okay, I'll be there. I'm your teacher. You promised me, <laughs> me alright? She said only that, but the phone put the phone down and got her purse out of her locker. Class President, I have an emergency to take care of. I'm going out for a while, so please have everybody study by themselves while I'm gone. She took her car key out from her pass. It was obvious that she was going to see Rena somewhere. Chia Sensei, what is. What, 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 what? Oh, wait. Was it Rena? That's all. You're in charge for the class, okay? Chia Sensei completely ignored me and she ran out into the hallway. You know, one other thing I must say is that my sleeping pattern is just fucking shit right now. It's just like. <laughs> just all over the place. It's just like I woke up today in the afternoon and I'm just like. I got a guitar lesson tomorrow and stuff like that. And I'm just like. <laughs> this is just like. <laughs> Uh well, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just, 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 my brain is just, pleh. my mind is just, pleh. she ran to the schoolyard and got into her car, the moment her car left through the gate, I ran out to the schoolyard myself, I headed for the... Uh, the car parked near the gate and locked on the window, in case you can't tell, I haven't exactly long woke up. How you doing, my lady? Everything is quiet so far. Just go to log in. Okay, it's still me on suspect if I take it. I know, but I need you to follow that car just that just left. I think she's going to meet Rena. Understood. And it's very paranoid, so you need to be careful. Bring her to my house right after you catch her. After that, follow Kasai's orders. She's my friend. You better not get her hurt. Rena must have told Chia Sensei that she wanted to talk to her alone. I could tell that easily from the way she ignored my question. I did feel a bit bad for rearing then I promise. But it was very important that we caught her before she did something wrong. We could still make up an excuse that she was just wandering around because she had a fight with her father and ran away from home. 
But if she set fire to the clinic or something, there would be nothing I could do. The car made a rough U-turn on the gravel road, and it chased after Chia since his car at full speed. I watched the car until it was gone. All I could do now was to pray that this would be settled calmly. Hey, pay attention everyone. Well, we need to study by ourselves for the rest of the class today. So get back to your desks and study quietly, pardon me. I haven't long since drank a can as well. Self-studying? Neon ran up to me and spoke quietly. Wait, self-studying? Oh, that was probably Gagey then. Renna just called. What? Really? Yeah, she just called the teacher's office. I think she had sent went to meet with Renna. Renna, I wonder what she's gonna do. I have no idea. Anyway, I told my bodyguards to follow Chia Sensei's car. I feel bad for Rena, but we're going to capture her there by force. I hope it works. They're used to doing this kind of stuff. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yeah, it won't, you know, in any way enhance Rena's paranoia if a bunch of men in black suits just suddenly try to capture her. So if they catch her, is everything going to be over? Yeah, we'll send her to hospital. If the doctor sees her, I'm sure he'll find a typical kind of disease or something. It'll be like obsessive psychomatic disorder or whatever. While we're spending our afternoon studying peacefully, the members of the Sonic family would capture Rena, who was waiting for Chia Sensei somewhere. The problem would be solved. I don't think it's gonna be that easy, do you? Why do you think I freaking titled the previous part The Calm Before the Storm? It's just like, it was a perfect title, really. Just like, I couldn't think of anything else, because I rambled through most of that part. It wasn't going to be easy after that, but I was sure Mion would take good care of her. And in the end, everybody would understand that Reddit just ran away from her because we're still alive with her father. A happy ending. Problem solved, right? Mion winked at me, she looked like she already thought everything was over. But that just, just didn't sound right to me. I couldn't see any connection between Rena and Chia Sensei. It was hard to explain, but there was something wrong. I wasn't saying that they didn't get along. Rena was a good student, so Chia Sensei had a good relationship with her. But I just didn't understand what Rena wanted from Chia Sensei. While I was thinking about it, the door opened and one of our classmates came back from the bathroom. With Rena. Rena! Everybody stand up. Move to the center of the room. Everybody gasped in surprise. Even Chie since they couldn't make everybody go so quiet all of a sudden. Rena was gripping the shoulder of the student who came back from the bathroom. In her other hand, she had a big scary looking hatchet. It was the same one she had the other night. Everyone immediately understood that Rena had taken a hostage. Oh shit! Are you all deaf? Move to the center of the room. Push the desk to the sides. Nobody grasped what she was asking us to do. We all froze. Rena was the only one who was smiling. It was terrifying. <laughs> Mi Chan, you're the class president. Tell everyone to move to the center. Renna, what are you doing? <laughs> ah! Bam! A loud noise washed out of Mion's voice. Renna hit the teacher's desk really hard with her hatchet. She pulled out the hatchet, making an ominous ripping noise. Ooh, there was now a line of violence carved plainly into the desk. Uh oh, she broke it. She sense is gonna get mad when she comes back. I don't think that that's that's the least of the troubles here. No, that wasn't it. What the hell? You know what would be the I just like God damn it! Even in a situation like this, I can't help myself. Gotta see what it says in Japanese. Na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na-na
so I guess that is the equivalent there. At least it wasn't in Kanji. I know I can trust you, Mi-chan. I'm going to ask Keichikun then. You're my only friend, right, Keichikun? So I can trust you, can't I? Arena, your eyes, you look so scary! I've never seen eyes like that in my life. Well, you did in a previous life, and another previous life, but besides that, your eyes are full of insanity! Why are people afraid of insanity? Insanity means that a person doesn't share the same values and the same common sense as you. For example, say a thief breaks into your house and he ties you up. You'll get scared and wonder if he's going to stab you before he leaves. But you hope that the thief has feelings too and that he's not going to kill you for no reason. No matter how bad the person is, we tend to believe in his goodwill as long as we share the same values, the same common sense and the same morals as him. But we can't expect goodwill from someone who doesn't have those things. We can't expect goodwill from a person who can't communicate with us. When a burglar has a knife and you beg him not to hurt you, you expect him to listen to you and to show you mercy. In other words, you can still communicate with him. But if he doesn't have the ability to communicate, he's just like a monster that's trying to attack you, or like a blade of a guillotine that's falling down on you. You fear him because you can't communicate with him. That's insanity. What if he was deaf and dumb, though? Well, I suppose... I suppose that'd make it even weirder, really. Just like... A deaf and dumb burglar. That's that's definitely something. Does that ever happened in any point in history? It was the same fear we were feeling towards Renner at that very moment. She looked like a human just like us, but there was no room for her to communicate with us like a normal person could do. Everybody understood that fear instinctively. Kitchkun, make them move the desk to make room in the middle. Okay, everybody, let's do as Reno says. And it was like a barrel of gunpowder at that moment. She seemed really calm and quiet, but she could explode any minute. But when she did, I doubt she'd show us any mercy. She probably wouldn't hesitate to use that hatchet on us. That's right. Just like how I didn't feel guilty or hesitate to kill Reno and Mion. I really went all quiet while pushing the desk against the wall to make a space where Renner wanted it. Renner, saying that we're moving too slow, hit the blackboard with a hatchet, making a horrible noise. What the fuck you do that for, bitch? Every time she did that, she left an equally horrible scar on the blackboard, the thing that we looked at most in the school. You fucking assholes. It's like doing the evil blackboard voice just out of context. Anyone who stumbled upon these videos that isn't familiar with that is just be like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like a kind of mascot character, you know? Originated in my Canon LP, I think, on my main channel many years ago. Kitchikun, can you set the jump ropes out from the lockers? I mean, get them, not set them. Use them to tie our classmates up. I'm not good at tying knots. I probably can't tie them up very well. I'll check one by one if you tied them up well enough. If I find the ropes loose, I'll kill the person, so you better tie them up really well. Okay, 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 good. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Renny, you went off the deep end. You went off the deep end quite a bit. Quite a lot, in fact, but... Now you've gotten to the point where you'll just kill an innocent... Just because your friend doesn't tie them up properly. I mean, this has escalated out of hand, Renna. Just like, no fucking shit. Ah, we were still kids. We saw the word kill all the time. It was used a lot in comic books and cartoons, after all. Well, it's just like, think about it in kind of Western media, you know, cartoons and all that. Well, actually, it probably does get used quite a bit as well, but... It's like, usually, they just like, they kind of soften that. Like, just reminds me of, like, uh, some anime that, like, I remember hearing, like, Digimon, like, when it was, like, dubbed into English, when, like, some Digimon get killed off. They literally made it so it's like, I will banish you rather than I will kill you because it's like, no, that's too dark and edgy. 
can't have that. So normally you'd assume we'd be used to hearing the word kill. But when Rana said she'd kill us, it sounded so frightening. I'd never heard something like that before in my life. Trena, our lives were like cards she could use for negotiation. She'd get rid of one card every time somebody refused her request. Get rid of? Damn it! Why did we use such scary words like get rid of for simple things like playing cards? Anyway, there were about 20 students in the class. That was a little bit too many for Renan to handle. She might get rid of one or two just to set an example. I decided to do what Renna said because I didn't want her to lose her temper. I got out everybody's jump ropes from their lockers. All of you, get on the floor. Ketchikun, you can start tying their hands behind their backs. Tie them really tightly. You're on my side, aren't you? You wouldn't tie them loosely on purpose, would you? The distorted soundtrack really strikes home the insanity of the scene. Mian tried to make eye contact with me. If everybody was tied down, we wouldn't be able to stop her from occupying the school. There were more than 20 students in this class. Half of them were boys, but most of them were smaller than Renner. But they were, there were enough people here to overpower her. There would be, you know. But if we did that, Renner would probably hit her hostage with a hatchet. And probably a couple others. It's not exactly a situation where you can just, like, charge in headlong and hope for the best. And she'd use the hatchet to attack the rest of us without hesitation. It'd be a bloody battle. I'm sure somebody would get hurt if we tried to overpower her. The hostage would be seriously injured. Or maybe even die. If that happens, it was over. No matter how hard we tried to cover her up, she'd never be able to live peacefully like before. Neon seemed to understand that too. I could tell from Renna's eyes that she wasn't going to go easy on us. If somebody showed defiance, she'd break the hostage's head open immediately. Of course, Renna had done that before. She'd probably do it again with no hesitation. But as long as we did that, or well, we did what she did, that's what I said, we could prevent that bloody tragedy. If we could somehow solve the situation without shedding any blood, with Mion's influence, we might still be able to pretend that this never happened. At the least, we have to make sure she didn't kill anyone. Let's do as Renna says, Kei-chan. Mion tried to think of ways to overpower Renna, but she couldn't come up with any good ideas to save the hostage. That's how easy it would be for Renna to kill them. The best thing to do at that, that, that time was to wait for a chance without agitating her further. <laughs> she just got messaged. Anyways, Mion lay down on the floor and everyone else followed suit sluggish with terror. Terror at being messaged. And I was left alone, standing rooted to the spot with jump ropes in my hands. All my classmates were lying face down on the floor, while Renna was pointing the hatchet at the hostage, watching our every move from behind the teacher's desk. I just stood frozen in the middle of it all. Kitchkun, there are many things I want you to help me with, so hurry up. If you take too long, some of them might have to die. Some of the little kids started crying when they heard the word die. It's alright everyone. Kitchikun will save you. So nobody's gonna die. <laughs> Damn it. What a bold threat. She said I was her friend, but she was just playing with the meaning of the word. I was the last person who could still fight against Renan under these circumstances. But it wasn't going to be easy to overpower her by myself. I wasn't sure if I could do that. Even if I tried to act stuff, once Renna pointed the hatchet at somebody's neck, it was over. I shouldn't fight against her for now. I should just wait for a chance. As long as Renna was alone, there would be a chance. She made me tie them up because she couldn't do that by herself. There was a limit to what she could do because she was by herself. We could cover this up somehow, before Chie Sensei came back. 
we'd still be able to pretend like we were kidding around. I finally realized something. I realized why Renna called Chia Sensei to meet with her. Oh. In order for Renna to take over the classroom, she needs to get rid of Chia Sensei. Chia Sensei had a very strong sense of justice. Even if Renna had a gun, she wouldn't hesitate to overpower her. She was the kind of teacher who would risk her life for her students. Renna needed to figure out how to get rid of Chia Sensei. That was key to her plan. Renna probably thought about attacking her from behind at first. But there was risk there. Chia Sensei was a grown up woman, so she probably thought that attacking her directly wasn't a wise choice. Even though, you know, she killed two adult people as well. And I was in a more, uh. Well, Tepe was more of an attack of surprise, and he went down pretty quickly. While. Was her name Reno or something like that? It's just like, it's been quite a while since that, hasn't it? Put up more of a fight, but that one was started by her, really, wasn't it? So naturally, the next option was to lure her out somewhere. Renna called Chia Sensei and told her she wanted to talk to her in private in order to lure her out to some place far from here. Most people, including Chia Sensei, thought Renna was just running away from home. So Chia Sensei must have thought Renna had some problems she wanted to talk to her about. It was too easy to deceive her. Where did she make the phone call from? She probably used the phone in the school. Well, not in school to be exact. She probably used the phone on the second floor of the school, the one belonging to the forestry service. This school was using part of the forestry service building, but this particular location was more of a branch office. So it's not like somebody was here all the time. Renna knew that, and she had probably been hiding there for a while. She called the phone on the first floor from the second floor, and she made Chia Sensei leave the school. I didn't think it was a coincidence that the principal was on a business trip today. She probably snuck into the school yesterday. She saw the principal's schedule, learned how to call the phone on the first floor from the second, and carried out her plan. She planned it perfectly. Yeah, I knew it. Renna was insane, but I knew she was also actually really calm. She was possessed by her delusion, but she was also unbelievably calm about it. So, she could still think fast. I knew that very well because I'd been through the same thing before. What was worse is that Mion's bodyguards were gone. Mion told them to follow Chia Sensei because she thought Chia Sensei was going to meet with Renna. Damn it! Everything seemed to be working out in her favor. I'm done. I mean, I'm done. Just like, yeah. Not as in done, it's just like, I can't take this anymore! But more of, uh, yeah, he's, he's tied them up. I tied up the last person and looked in Renner's direction. If I didn't tie them up really tightly, Renner would kill them. But when I tied them too tightly, they suffered in pain. Their pain cries made me feel useless. Thank you, Kate Goon. Now creep your eyes. I don't mean to doubt you, Kate Goon. But I'll make sure, just in case. Please put your hands on your head and lie uh, face down on the floor. And I'm saying this to everybody. If you stand up without my permission, I'll kill you. I'll kill whoever stood up one more person randomly. Just set an example. And then, then that face of all faces to switch from. It's not nice to be sure. No, no, that's she's probably still speaking. It's not nice to be chosen randomly, huh? Oh, that's a good idea. I'll kill the person who didn't listen to me. I tend to his or her student number and kill that person too. For example, let's say Okamura kun didn't listen to me. I'll kill him and Watanabe kun because his student number is 11. Got it? Get it? I'll always be killing two of you at the same time. You better remember that you involve another person like besides your own mind you attempt to stand against me. How awful. She totally understood how to threaten people. Normally you stand against an attacker at your own risk. If you fail, you are going to die. But if you were responsible for someone else, then you couldn't try to resist. You can't risk somebody's life with your own decisions. Okay, everybody's tied nice and tight. You said you aren't good at tying knots, but you did very well, Kechikun. You should be proud of yourself. Well, you can stand up now. It was too late to fight back. I followed her orders. I just had to wait for a chance. 
we could still turn this into some kind of a bad joke. I had to, I had to do something. Anyway, what were you planning to do, Rena? Don't tell me this is the come from behind victory you were talking about. Higurashi when they cry, insanity, Kai. Now I wonder if there's any tips left. <laughs> just like complete switch in tone there, isn't it? But just like yeah, they haven't got the achievement for the tip, so I assume there must be at least one left. I can't tell if this is. I mean, it's obviously going to be a Weechi's perspective. But I can't tell if it's him giving this order or his boss. I'll just read it in a normalish voice then. Lock me at speed to all vehicles. Lock me at speed to all vehicles. Whilst the situation is broken down at the enemy's outfarts and service building, there are reportedly multiple hostages. All uh, vehicles are to head to the forestry service building immediately. Gubachan! Sorry I'm late. What's going on? What the fuck? This took a dark turn for the worst. By God, it's like... It's, well, wait, this always happens. But this is... This is more dark than dark can be dark. By God, Gubachan! This is not your wish you watched all of a sudden. But yeah, that took a freaking turn, didn't it? I mean... It's like I knew what was coming, but still, it's just like, damn. It's just like, yeah, Renner's like, you know, kind of like slowly but surely falling deeper and deeper into delusions, but then BAM! That's like, okay, I wasn't expecting that. Anyways, might take a break. Just like, just like, didn't get to the end of the arc here, but. Might take a little break, then uh, maybe a few days or something. It's like, it's just like it feels chaotic. Like, for example, my scheduling, for example. Like, on my main channel, it's like, I have the only recording I've got in advance so far at this point in time is for the Spyro 2 LB, but that's because I recorded a bunch in advance. And for an example of like the uh, pain in the ass thing about this, right? My nephew borrowed my GameCube, so I can't play Wind Waker, but I can, because the console's just downstairs. It's just just a hassle of just bringing it back up the stairs, setting up again. Also, finally got the capture card that a subscriber sent, so... Gotta try that as well. That's just, just like, there's so much to take in and stuff. It's just like, just like, uh, my head is just mush. Just blah, 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 right now. It's like, bleh. so yeah, might take a break for a while, don't know how long, but yeah. So this hostage situation is, uh, it's just like, you're gonna have to wait it out. He's like, but save us! He's like, uh, sorry, we, we, we will return to the plot when I get back, I guess. Anyways, I'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.